All right, everyone. Welcome back to the Crazy Crafter live stream. Good, good, uh, good Sunday to you all. Gerard Booms back with us. Welcome, welcome back, Gerard. Uh, thank you for having me once again. <laughs> Always a joy, my friend. Always a joy. Great, great. Um, Let's see. Uh, joining us today as well as always, we've got uh, Danny West is is uh, is is back with us today, crafting with us. Welcome, Danny. Thank you for having me. Yep. I'm super excited about this. And one. then, are you ready? I feel it's a ghost of Christmas present. Is there another okay. spirit in the room? Oh, there it is. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Patterson joins us on holiday. Um, on Christmas holiday, he's uh, he's tuning in. He's going to be monitoring the chat today. He's going to be um, uh, uh, here helping you out if you have any questions um, and keeping the chat going lively with us. But, Michael, thank you for joining us with your family on Christmas holiday. Thanks for taking the time, brother. No problem, man. Good to be here. Yep. And thank you all for, for joining us uh, today. Um, uh, super happy to have you guys here. If you guys are new to the channel and you've never been here before, uh, welcome to the Crazy Crafter live stream. My name's Colin Bressy. Um, this is a weekly live stream dedicated to the tabletop crafting community. That's you guys out there. And we've brought in, uh, this, the stream is, is, uh, I, I've, it's been a joy to grow and evolve it over the past few months, but we are having a blast featuring a bunch of people from the community, um, that feature your builds, your techniques, your process. Uh, I'm sure enjoying, uh, stealing everything that all the guests come on here and share. So it's it's a blast. If you are new to the stream today, please, please. And I know I saw Sander in the chat earlier. He's like old, right? He's he's been here for for several weeks now and and hanging out with us. If you're new to the stream and you've never been here before, please in the comments for the video type new. I'd like to get to know you guys, where you're from, what your works in progress are, and that way we can uh, who knows, maybe you end up uh, on on this show with us one day and you're on here crafting trying to uh, you're you're here with me as I'm still learning OBS going, what is this? I'm 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 as I'm in my mad programmer dash over here. Well, um, Gerard, we're back today. What are we building? We're going to jump right in. Everyone, if you don't know Gerard Boom, he's uh, he's an amazing, uh, amazing uh, member of the tabletop craft community. Um, he's got some uh, an awesome, awesome uh, website, ShiftingLands.com, with a bunch of really cool stuff for the procs on. But what are we working on today, Gerard? Um, I suggested to do a, a small a ruin build, a ruin chapel or tomb kind of thing. Um, and um, I built it um, already um, very roughly uh, today. I think we can pull it off in uh, two hours uh, that this stream will be approximately. Okay. Approximately. Which approximately. Means approximately. Approximately. Uh, if we have fun, we can go on. Uh, but the thing is, um, if we want to pull this off, uh, and I did had some weird corners and stuff uh, also within the bill, right. uh, we actually have to start cutting straight away and i think we can chat all we like but um <laughs> for those of you who want to join um i think there is already uh some info uh released on measurements but i actually i will cut every part now it isn't there aren't that many parts but um i suggest we start okay i'm all for it let's what do you say danny should we should we get to craft yeah now? let's do it Okay. Um, this will be the greatest build Michael's ever done. He's going to be like, I'm crafting. It's beautiful. It's great. We can't see it today. Exactly. <laughs> no, I, guys, I'm finished. What's taking you so long? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, Perfect. I also have a challenge for myself. Mm. Um, normally, I glue my uh, projects with wood glue. Right. Uh, because I'm not in a rush. Um, just this very thin layer leave it to dry for half an hour and then I can go on. Um, with this build, I will use a hot glue gun. I hate it, but I have to do it. <laughs> no, no, I mean for, it's it's what you're used uh, to, right? So, right. okay, so, and again, oh, very important for those of you who uh, only have, let's say, pink foam of uh, one inch thick, not to worry, nothing will be thicker uh, uh, then approximately one inch. 
So cool. if you see me working with a very thick block, forget it. Okay. We will start by cutting some walls. And if you have a thicker sheet, then that is great. Uh, the, the length of the walls, we will cut eight single sheets and the length of the longest wall, and we need four of them, is five and a half inch. Five and now, and for, half those of you, for those of you who use metric, it's 14, 14 centimeters. And every wall, eight in total, will be three and a half inch high, Copy that. Which, is, which is nine centimeters. How thick? Um, approximately uh, one fifth of an inch, which is, well, five or six millimeters for those who love metric. Okay, let's and, start. And just, just as a reference point too today, uh, for, for those of you that are out there, uh, I, I am running low on crafting supplies today. So I grab what I do have is a bunch of dollar store foam core. I've got a few um, pieces of XPS too, but it's literally grab whatever you can so we can we can start working here. All right. Um, and for the record, uh, these dimensions were sent out. Did they go onto your Instagram? Yeah, they, they are they are on the Instagram, Danny. Uh, Crazy.crafterxps on Instagram. If you want any of these dimensions and uh, you're following along the build or afterwards you're, you're coming back and you're watching the recording, uh, you'll be able to find them on my Instagram. And I'll leave I'll leave that up there and I'll be sure to tag that it was from from today's post. Everyone can follow along. And build. Yeah. So Yay. if you don't, uh, if you don't have them immediately in front of you, they are on Colin's Instagram. You can just jump over to that really quick, get the dimensions, and follow along really, really easily. Boom. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna start cutting some wall shapes. Yeah, I'm cutting wall shapes too. Here we go. Okay. So I uh, have a block of foam, and <clears throat> this block is now a bit too long, but it already has the right height, which is three and a half inch nine centimeters so this is nine centimeters it's still it's too wide i don't care uh but now i have my block and i have removed the coating if you have coating on it remove it it's horrible what's the coating what is uh, the coating is it is it on the your xps yes like i will show you huh. if you look at it um here you see the coating oh interesting and the coating is uh, it is foam, but it's somehow compressed. It's very, very smooth. You cannot really texture it very well. And very important, uh, if you glue onto the uh, coating, it, like wood glue, it doesn't stick. Huh. You, and if, it, if you paint, uh, the paint will go in any direction. It doesn't stay on. It, it's like it's pushing the paint away. So, That's interesting. I hadn't, I didn't know that you guys had that coating on there before. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just, uh, it's like a, it's sort of like a film that gets uh, made, I think when they, you know, do that like final compression and like whatever like baking process they have to do to like do the thing. It's just sort of like a skin huh. on the foam. A little skin. Yeah. Now, uh, as I said, uh, I have a block here, which is uh, three and a half inch high. Yep. It's uh, a little bit longer at the moment than 5.5 inch. Uh, we will come to that later. And now I'm cutting eight sheets of each one fifth of an inch. Now, mind you, I have my block and I push it through. But makes sense, right? Because yep. I want to cut a sheet. But now here's the thing. Oh, Siri is talking to me, sorry. Siri's talking to you. What is she saying? Yes, they were talking to me. <laughs> um, well, now the wire, if it's in a perfect 90 degree angle, you should go, you can cut sheet after sheet after sheet. Mm. In my experience, there is always, always, the wire is a little bit off. You cannot see it with the naked eye, you could say. So what I do, if I cut one sheet, I flip the block over and cut the next one. Okay. Uh, if you should cut a thicker block into sheets and you go, uh, you do this in the same direction every time, you will see that uh, your block will get uh, angled. So I made a cut, I turn my block over and go for the next one. Nice. Okay. Eight sheets, guys. 
Eight mm-hmm. sheets. Eight sheets. A little, a little question from Sander in the chat here. Yep. Um, pra- practical question for y'all Proxon users. Here in Belgium, half-inch foam isn't readily available, so I always get some 30-millimeter foam. Yeah. Therefore, I need to cut the larger pieces in half to get roughly half-inch thick foam. The issue is that the height of the arm sits at roughly five inches. Would you force the arm to go up to six? Mm. Uh, what's the question? So uh, the issue is that the height of the arm, I believe, on the Proxon is roughly five inches. Would yeah. you force the arm to go up to six? Would you force it up or how would oh, you do that? Okay, yeah. Um, actually, um, let, let, me, let, let me check that. Um, I think it's, it's five, at least five and a half inch high. Uh, if you want, if you want to um, get a few, uh, few more centimeters or a, f- a, f- a, f- a little bit of more length, you could do. Actually, what you could do is you take, oops, you take a block of foam. I will not do it, but I will show you. Now you see the arm here, right? And you take a block of foam that doesn't fit in a, actually it doesn't fit. However, if you put it in the bend of the arm and you force it up, you force it up and you press very hard, then you will see that the arm will come up. Oh. So in, in that case, you can actually get two centimeters, almost an inch more um, height, but before you do it, wire loose. And after you've done it, check the angle of the wire. Because if you go up, the wire will go in an angled position. Nice. Every every centimeter counts. Every centimeter uh, counts. Absolutely. Actually, um, uh, earlier this year, I uh, visited the Proxon company mm-hmm. in uh, Luxembourg. And we talked about this issue. And I said... Um, you you must make a new model with an arm that is higher. Uh, well, and what and, was their response? What did they what did they say to um, that, Gerard? Are well, they making actually, something? They invited me because they wanted to talk about my my inventions and and about the machine as well, and nice. they want to hear the the pluses and the minuses of the machine. Uh, so I gave them a lot of minuses as well, mm. which they which they appreciated. Um, and, and one of the improvements I suggested is make it higher. And well, they are looking into it. So good. We'll see. That'd be awesome. A a yep. Proxon 2.0. That would be that'd be sweet. Yep. Or or if you um if if you're in Danny's world, just use use a bandsaw, right? Well, no, I I, I have the exact same problem with my bandsaw. Do you? Uh, except a little bit more exacerbated, right? Like, like I can fit a nice wide thing, but I uh-huh. actually only have three and a half, four inches of, of, of clearance. So I have less less vertical clearance than the Proxon. Um, I just, I figure out how to make it work with my bandsaw because I owned that before I started doing this. So, you know, you just, you fake it till you go, make it, right? Go with what you got. Go with what you got. Yep. Right? Well, guys, I uh, cut the uh, eight sheets, and now I uh, have to uh, get them in the right length. Now, they are all the same height, so that's okay. Now, the smaller sheets are three inch wide, which is seven and a half centimeters. So, six and a half. And you see, I stacked four of them. So, here I go. And now... I have the right size. Okay, so these four are ready. Now I take the longer ones, again, a stack of four, um, 14 centimeters, which is 5.5 inch. Okay. I'm gonna have to cut, pick up my cutting speed. I've only got five of my sheets. Well, that's not fair. I, 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 I have... I'm caught up, but that's because I cheated before the break. Oh, I, cheated, so. I see. Smart. And, and, you, have, and you have gremlins. 
Yeah, yeah. But they're they're going to be working. They're going to be working hard today. They are sure. going to be working hard today. So Over time. For longer walls, for shorter walls. Now I want to cut. Um, in preparation, I want to cut four blocks that are again three and a half inch high. That are one one eighth of an inch wide and five eighths of an inch thick, okay. which is nine times three three times 1.7 centimeters. Uh, I'm going to mute myself because I'm going to turn that bandsaw on. All right. <laughs> OK. So I have here a leftover block. Great. This is already the right height. So I've got that measurement, uh, three and a half inch. And it has to be wide, three centimeters, or one one eighth of an inch. So here I go, three centimeters. I already have one block. It has the right, the right height. It has the right width, not the right thickness yet. Uh, and which is 1.7 centimeters, 5 eighths of an inch. So 1.7 must be. Ooh. Okay, cool. Uh, my face is turning red. I see, uh, but I, but I'm in the kitchen. Um, the whole family is in the living room. They cranked up the the heating. I oh. have two big lamps shining on me. So oh, crazy. it's it's like um, it, it's it, it's just to keep you loose, Gerard. Just to keep you loose oh, and warm. Yeah. So oh, you don't, that's it. You can't oh, okay. you can't pull anything while 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 crafting here. This is. Got to build. We got to finish this in, this this build today. So it's important to stay. You're all, look, you're all looking good, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so I here I have my four buttress blocks in preparation. Yeah. Okay. Put them aside. Uh. Right. Great. Um. I'm thinking what what the best what's the best way to go from here. Uh. We can continue to do some cutting still. Uh. Uh, because we actually need a kind of sturdy uh, wall underneath these walls, right? And then we need a base plate. Of let's keep some kind. let's keep cut. That's where I'm at. I I'm I'm on my seventh my seventh uh, sheet here on the first set of cuts on those. Okay. Uh, so I'm 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 catching up. I'm getting there. Sure, that's great. Now then, um, in preparation, you know what, um. I'm fed up with cutting. I will, we will go on to the walls and we come back for the rest later. Is that okay? Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay, good. So um, I've got my four buttress walls. Uh, I have the four short and the four long walls. And okay. first I want to make in these um, sheets, I want to make windows. So for this, I need a template. Now, um, <clears throat> I have some cardboard, which is actually a packaging of cookies. Cookies. Ooh, yes, please. Yep, OK, cool. <coughs> so and I want to make a Gothic window. Okay. So how do I do that? Uh, actually, it's very simple. Um, the, uh, I, I need two templates. I need a larger Gothic shape, and I need the exact same shape a little bit smaller. Okay. Um, now the uh, let's start with the big one, which is two and a half inch high, two inch wide, which is six point five centimeters high and five five point five five centimeters wide. I think more or less. We'll see. I'll check. Let me check. Uh, So no no, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, uh, no, you're good. You're I'm good. making I'm making some mistakes here, I believe. Oh, well, those happen. Yeah. <laughs> those definitely Absolutely. happen. Um, yeah. You, now you're using the the this uh, 
um, the cookie, the cookie, um, uh, sheet, cardboard. the co cookie cardboard. If I'm using, if I, if, if, if for, for anyone that is using, um, one of, one of your jigs at home, which one would I be using for, for the, for the Gothic uh, arch here? You would be, you, 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 you will be using, uh, one that is three and a half centimeters wide. So I have to correct myself. Okay. We will cut a window that is two and a half inch high mm. and one three eighths of an inch wide or in metric six and a half centimeters high and three and a half centimeters wide. So my piece of cardboard, it has to be six and a half centimeters or 2.5 inch high. Now you see, I, I draw a line. I'm not sure if is this visible. This line. Mm, hold it up there to the to the can. There it is. That's that's bent much. Okay, better. this is the center line of the window, which is six and a half centimeters or uh, 2.5 inches. Yes. Mm, yep. Now, if the window is two inch, no, it's not two inch wide. Uh, what did I say? Sorry. Three and a half centimeters. Three and a half centimeters, which is, uh, I lost my window, my example, which is horrible. So, oh, there it is. Sorry. So if if the uh, the window is three and a half centimeters wide, I have to uh, divide that to two by two or into with two whatever, and. <laughs> And in inches, it is one three eighths. So you take half of that. So three and a half is one point, oh, one point eight centimeters. So I take one point eight centimeters. I can imagine this is a bit, little bit confusing, but here's the here's the next line. So we have two lines. Uh, let me see. Where's the camera? Okay, we have two lines. Uh, one is the center, and one is the center of the window, and the other one is the side of the window. Yes. Okay. Now we'll make the arch. So I take the center line, the top of it, and I will. Okay, now, okay, this is, this is my gothic shape. I'm not sure if it, is it upside down or what? It's it's upside down, it is. I got. So this is my gothic shape, right? Hmm. It doesn't matter. You can make any shape you want. Now you take a pair of scissors and you cut it out. Oh. That would have been a good idea. I don't know why I didn't think about scissors. The one thing I don't have readily available. Uh, I can send you one. Yeah, that's so, great. It'll it'll get here, but definitely before the end of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so here I have half of my window. So I trace it again on the cardboard. You, if you want, you also take the center line, flip it, and do the other side as well. And there you have your large window template okay nice there is oh sorry i think so let me see oh yeah 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 there it is that there's the 10 yep. there's that there it is okay cut it out if i had any spare cardboard anywhere but I don't I have the jig. I could use the jig, but I wanted to try the try the cardboard out. Oh, let's see. Hey, okay, here is my here is my my window, my gothic window template. Now I need to have another one, which is smaller. Okay. Approximately all around, it's one fifth of an inch smaller. So I trace it again on a piece of cardboard.
I'm curious, um, as we're making making the, the um, this gothic window jig out there, what have you guys used before? Um, if you if you uh, if you've ever made doors or windows, like what have you guys come up with out there in the chat? Um, what have you used before um, to create templates? Is it cardboard? Is it cardstock? Um, I, I oftentimes will will grab uh, old jars or old containers, round containers to to um, to do uh, to make to at least cut out stuff. What do you guys utilize out there? I want to I want I want to know. Put it in the chat there. Now it looks like Michael might have dropped out of the Zoom. Oh, he did. Oh, that's possible. Hi, I'm back. It's my internet. Yay! Welcome okay. back. Hey. <laughs> Perfect. I missed you. <laughs> yeah, we we were missing our our conscience for for the day, and we, man, do we need it? We need a conscience to keep us keep it straight, straight and narrow. So. <clears throat> Uh, I, I think I'm back. Again. You are. We hear you. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. I yeah, traced yeah, the I'm, I'm out in the countryside at the minute, and uh, yeah, I've got farmer's level internet. <laughs> cool. <laughs> He's he's uh, he's out out and about. Uh, www.sheep.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. All right, so okay. we have the two jigs there, Gerard. We have here. I traced it again. Now this is very simple. I want to have a smaller one. Now uh, I eyeball it, but look at this. I put the one I cut out on the one I traced, and it. I, I tried to do this. Um, I have to stand because. Now, these are, this is over the one I traced. Now I pull it back mm. and I, sh I, I, I shift it so that I have the exact same line, approximately one fifth of an inch um, in, inward. And I trace it, right? Yep. So, and I will do this from the other side as well. So pulling it back. Uh, again, I eyeball it. I trace it. I'm not sure if you can see this. We can see it. But yeah, it makes look. total sense. You see? Oh. Now I have Dang -dang. exact the same shape, only smaller. Nice. And on the bottom, again, I also... And I cut this one out as well. Here you go. Actually, actually, if you like, you cut out the outer... Uh, lines, you go in and you cut out the inner section and you have your two templates in one. Oh, sweet. Yep. Okay. Let me try and do that. Actually, not so hard. First, cutting out the larger window again. And At one of the vertical lines, I go simply, I go in. And I cut out a smaller window. Well, with cardboard, <laughs> it doesn't work that well uh, because this should be actually this is your template outside, inside, but it's very bendable. So we discard it because we now have the larger and the smaller one, right? Let me see. I think that fits nicely. I'm not sure if you can see it. Oh, so it should be, should it be uh, a fifth of an inch? shorter in the bottom dimension as well um if you like yeah if you like okay. sure okay so let's let's cut let's now cut some windows again we have to speed up <laughs> speed up let's start let's start with uh, the small a small wall and i like to start with the larger window i have to placed in the center, of course. Now, that's great. I have my center line on the template. So I measure out the width of the template. I look up 
the center. Got it. And now I can place it somewhere that I like, keeping some distance from the top and from the bottom. And if it's straight, uh, sure, you can measure it out with a uh, carpenter thingy, uh, but I eyeball it. Uh, and this is the way to go for me. So there we go, trace it. Normally I use a uh, pencil, but I use my pen now, so. And what size, what size, uh, what foam is this going on, Gerard? Is this? Um... This, this is one of the four smaller wool elements we started with. Got you, cutting. so this is, this is the uh, three and a half by, uh, this is the three and a half by, by three inch one. Yes, that's Copy cool. that, copy that. So, and we have to, we need, uh, no, we, uh, Let's start with, with just one. And now we have to cut it out. Uh, so with your hobby knife, with your exacto knife, we cut it out. Now, um, um, you can place your foam on the table on a, or a cutting mat, but beware, uh, you might tear the rear of the sheet um, when you start cutting. So I do it in my hand. John Hosenfeld says four-way ellipse templates come in handy too. Sorry? What? Four-way ellipse templates come in handy too. There's a bit of a delay, so it's probably relevant to something previous. Okay. Oh, it was, um, I think, a response to uh, what do we use? Uh, what does everyone use ah, okay. um, uh, to create their, their jigs out there? Yep. Nice. Well, I try to keep it as basic as possible. <laughs> okay, so here I have my first window. Now I take a second sheet and I place the sheet with the window on top. And now, oh, I will be using a, a pencil now. And now I, now I trace the large window to the sheet below. It's hard to see, but for me, it's visible enough. Now I take my smaller template, position it, position it <laughs> nicely in the middle so just one little thing when gerard is working directly under his uh, his head is coming into the camera shot a oh, little sorry. bit uh, it's working okay. over your hand just just ever so slightly no, there you go very good thank you very much yeah for the thank feedback. you michael there's 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 the ghost of of christmas present looking out for us looking out for us all yeah. well you see i now it's not so good to see I, oh, there, you, there you go. I draw the smaller window exactly in the center of the larger window. And I cut this out as well. Okay, so two windows, two window sheets, and now, there you go. Oh, Very nice. Oh, sweet. Yep, okay. So actually, this is great because now I have a template. Now I go to, the, to one of the larger windows, and on that side, I want to have two windows side by side. Um, not sure how this looks. Uh, let me see if this is what I like. I think so. I, I'll, let me test, make a little test. Uh, this is all um, uh, optional. 
like if you don't want any windows, then you, yeah, you then you can take a break. Um, <laughs> you can you, you can only one window. Yeah. It's a good. But here I have. I will... Or just catch up with the rest. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Yeah, this makes sense. This is great. So actually, I use the um, the cutout window uh, as a template for the larger uh, side, the larger wall. Uh, but I trace, especially for you, uh, with a pen. So here we have the two windows. On the largest sheet. Now this looks incredibly large and whoa, but no worries. Cut them out. Keep cutting. Hmm. Just to be honest, I never said that it would be fun, right? So uh, uh <laughs> this is always fun. No, I um, <laughs> Yeah. I, I appreciate the way that you build and I, I like I really enjoy all of the the sort of efficiencies that you've discovered about you know reuse this, reuse that, you've already done this, so why do it a second time? Yeah. Like there's a lot yep. of really smart building technique just in the prep work. Um yep. and I think I, just yep. working alongside you and like having you point out that it would be easier to do it, you know, just you've already drawn it once. Just lay it on the thing. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, obviously. Like, that's so nice just doing that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah duh. Thank you. That's, uh, I think it's, um, it's, it's a lot, uh, sure. I have, uh, I do this for quite some time. I give a lot of workshops and I learn a lot from people that yes. attend my workshops. Yes. I see how they work and that makes me wonder um, <laughs> you know, how to explain people what you can do faster or what you could do better by doing it in another way. Um, and that is something I really miss these days. Um, like um, oh. I'm missing conventions, but above all, I'm missing workshops. And I believe uh, Tina is in chat. Uh, or at least she was. I'm not sure if she's still here, but um, uh, she's from Belgium, and uh, we already have some kind of uh, uh, agreement that once this is all over, I come to Belgium and for a workshop. So, oh yes, looking forward to that team. So yep. That's fantastic. Yep. It's it's good. It uh, that's 100% Gerard. Like again, just being able. To... <sighs> To travel both danny and i danny and i are teachers so we, okay. we we miss we miss uh we miss being in the the classroom with our students for sure yeah wow i can't imagine desperately like... desperately um, um well both long will will both of the longer wall sections have windows in it so should i do this twice yes please okay perfect okay. um so yes you can make this twice um and I, you can do this um, in any order. Uh, I'm now actually making the smaller one. John Lombardi is just putting in the chat. Who wants to attend a workshop with G Gerard here in the States? So it looks like oh, you, you get yes. something yeah. in the States sorted out in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, oh yeah, that's, that's gotta happen. That's gotta I, happen. Actually, um, uh, I already spoke with, uh, with 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 John about this. So um, nice. very good, nice. And I I really need to go to the states uh, for other purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, but being there, hey, why not do a workshop? So oh, that would yeah. You get uh, both both you Gerard and John will have to keep us all posted as as things progress sure. and we're able to to make that a reality. That that'll be quite lovely. Yes, however, um, the States is so immense big that uh, being in the States, <laughs> I'm still probably hundreds or thousands of miles away from a lot of you, so. Well, 
that's the cool thing about the the states is if you travel to one coast you'll have to travel to another coast <laughs> okay yeah i mean if you're if you're visiting uh john lombardi you're still three thousand miles away from us that's so. true yeah, yeah. very very well, true i'm very sorry guys i first have to go to that that oh, part of your country that's totally fine you can you can stop there first <laughs> okay okay i i got i got that message <laughs> you can stop there first and then you know you just keep yeah. on flying west brother that's all yeah okay <laughs> That'll be a blast. We also have domestic flights here in the Netherlands. The longest you can fly within the country is 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. Really? Wow. 20 minutes. That blows my mind. That blows my mind. <laughs> Where's that coffee? Yeah, that coffee. Oh, coffee. That's a good idea. That maybe it's... John, John, John says it's still closer than the Netherlands. Ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This one out. Oh. Colin, how are you doing? Where are you, oh. you at? Oh man, I am, I am, I'm cutting, I'm cutting my uh, second set of windows here uh, for the smaller pieces, and then I'm moving on to the side walls here. So you'll be shocked that I am falling behind. That's looking amazing, Gerard. Really nice. I believe in you, Colin. Thank you. Oh, I got it. It's happening, guys. It's happening. Oh, uh, I still have to do another one, uh, but now I have my template, so. Copy paste. Copy, yeah. Copy and paste. Where are you at, Daniel? Uh, I've got the two uh, large windows cut out of the two walls, and I'm moving on to uh, the small windows on the large walls right now. Mm -hmm. Wait, so are we I at the same switch. spot? Oh, wow. We're almost at the same. Oh, no. oh! No. I have I I my my confidence is boosted. I'm I'm. I said that. I, I believe in you, Colin. <laughs> Dude, it doesn't matter. It, it, just just getting uh, be, to be able to uh, come on here, and hang out with you guys, uh, hang out with Gerard, um, and then like like he said, whenever we get we get um, together and we have. Gerard on uh, anyone else? It's it's always fascinating. I always love watching you guys. You guys work too, because again, I, I pick up stuff from as a teacher. You pick up st stuff from your students. You're like, oh yeah, I've been doing this how long? How come I haven't? I've never thought of that but, before. <laughs> but it's all also a lot of fun. I uh, mean, this is this is. I I have the feeling now like like doing a workshop. Uh, uh, with a group of people, that that's the, this is the same feeling, which I is very pleasant, absolutely good. for me. It is. Well, good, and we're you know we're thrilled, all, always thrilled to have you on, Gerard. And it's again, what better way to reach you know when we can't really travel anywhere right now, we can certainly still reach and connect yeah. with everyone around the world. So I'm yep. I'm so thrilled that that um, everyone everyone's here and. You're crafting with us today. If you are crafting, uh, and it doesn't matter what you're, what you're uh, building along the way. I want to try something today that's a little wild. When we get to to the the last like 30 for, for, or 40 minutes of the stream, send me a build, right? Send me a picture of your build, whether uh, it, the work in progress from something that you're following along with Gerard or just something that you want to share. What I would like to do before the end of the stream is I want to try to pop it up on the stream and share it with everyone, especially if you're, uh, it doesn't matter what, what you're working on. Yesterday, I, I didn't bring it on today. I should have brought it, but I, I tried to build a gelatinous cube yesterday and it failed miserably, uh, but I, I could have brought that on to show you guys. I want to see what you guys are working on. And you can do that. You can uh, either tag me on Instagram, 
uh, with the photo, or you can send it to the Crazy Crafter Channel 1983 at gmail.com uh, email address. Uh, it's the email address that's associated with the channel here in the about section. Um, but if you send me the photo, I'll be able to throw it throw it up on the stream and show it, share it with everyone. I'd love to do that. Love it. <clears throat> Um, ba -ba -bum. just get the, the the streams getting some props from Sander here. I mean, this stream feels familiar and homey to me. Can't wait to meet all of you in person. Amen, amen to that. Um, you know, very very. Wherever you are in Holland, most welcome. Right, same same here, Sander. Um, Sander for um, um, I don't know. I, you'll have to tell us how you found found the stream, Sander. Um, you. You popped up, um, you know. You've been you've been with us for a while now, and so have uh, a, a lot of you. But I'm 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 loving connecting with everyone through through the the show here, and you know we're following each other on social media, Facebook through the Tabletop Crafters Guild, and I know Sander built a, a pretty rocking crafting setup that collapses and folds away. I told him he could never, I couldn't show it to my wife, otherwise she'd make me do the same thing. Right now everything is just kind of like. Poof, exploded all over all over our house right now but uh sanders got a pretty sweet build set up i'm so happy that uh i'm able to connect with with um all of you out there this has been amazing feels like home for us too uh gerard does the yes. the second small wall get windows as well uh, actually, I'm I'm working on it. Uh, it gets a door. So what I do now is I traced again the um, the larger window template on the sheet. I will put it up so you can see. Uh, but now the window is at the same or this one. The the height of the of of the uh, shapes are the same. But now I um, uh, draw all the way up. To, to the bottom of this sheet. So this start this will be the gothic the gothic door, right? Makes perfect sense. That's great. Okay, great. Thank you. So uh, Sander is saying he found the stream through Tyne. Oh nice. He's also in the in the chat today. They were friends on Facebook uh, through the I think it was through the Tabletop Crafters Guild and um, mentioned that Gerard was on, so he found the stream through that. Nice. Cool. Thank you. So, yeah, word of mouth is um, happening for the channel. Yay. It's getting out there. Well, this is a good reminder for you all out there. Uh, I don't know where this is going to pop up because I don't remember where, where I put it, but we're going to see where it pops up. Let's see what happens. And Sander... <laughs> saying by the way Gerard I'd be happy to stop for some coffee when I visit my family in the Netherlands um, actually uh, sure absolutely most most welcome um, even uh, well now we are in a hard lockdown but um, mm. even earlier this year uh, I, I got every now and then someone came along uh, I, even last year I got I got this email from uh, a guy from uh, Israel. He said, well, I'm going on holiday to the Netherlands. And <clears throat> do you have a shop? I said, no, but I have a shed. Go come by. And he actually came. So uh, nice. that's fun. So no, if you are a crafter and if you are in the Netherlands and OK, the Netherlands is small, but <laughs> but if you are in the neighborhood, just let me know. Hey, Gerard, okay. where, where's oh, I'm sorry, real quick. The um, uh, where? Is it uh, the two windows for for the for the side panels? That is, yes. uh, uh, how far in does the first the first one get set? I missed that one. Oh, um, go. What you mean? Uh, how 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 much? Yeah, where to where the... to set it? Where to set it? Like how far? I'm, I'm trying to remember. Like how far over? I can't I, remember. I, I, I approximately, if you look at my top, it's one fifth of an inch all around smaller. Copy. Is that what you mean? Yep, yep, that'll work. That that helps me. Just just checking. Do you see it upside down now, or I'm upside so, down? Okay, so this is better, right? That looks great. Okay, so okay, there's cool. a quick quick request in chat here from uh, I'm going to say it wrong again. Tyne and Sander who <laughs> have requested that 
uh, Gerard teaches us how to say their names properly. Okay. Oh, please. Uh, please, okay. please do. Because apparently we're pronouncing Tina. it incorrectly. Okay. Uh, Tina Martin, she said, Gerard, will you learn them how to pronounce my name? Okay. That is, that is uh, Tina Martens. Tina, okay. Tina Martens. Tina. 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 And Sander Hogerforst, which Sander. is a very common, more or less, Dutch name. So, mm. yeah. Sander. So it's an ah, oh, so it's a Sander. Sander. Is that Sander. Right? Sander. 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 We gotta, we gotta Sander. roll the R at the end. Oh, we love to roll the R. Yeah, right. Sander. Well, I, I'm, I'm real American. I'm, I'm real American <laughs> oh, when I no. start talking. Oh, no. So, uh, Sander and Tina. Sander and up. Tina. Yes, that's right. Yep. There we go, guys. I hope that's okay. And I hope we don't forget how to pronounce those names now. Sander, Sander <laughs> and Tina. Got it. I, I believe we've been adequately shamed into saying it correctly. <laughs> we, are, we, are, we will work on oh, it. Okay. Uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, Tina and Sander, if uh, I, I, I didn't mean any harm. I just pronounced it the way we, sh we in the Netherlands should pronounce it. I don't think it was, a, a, it was as much of a, <laughs> a commentary on you, Gerard, as it was Danny and I <laughs> yeah. and Michael. Okay, so now I have the door finished as well. Um, when I've done with this, I want to prepare the buttress walls. And uh, at the start of the stream, I already said I have my own chance. I will use my hot glue gun to glue it all together right. to speed up the builds, right? Yep. Um, and I think for me, uh, starting with cutting the buttress walls is a good moment to switch on my uh, hot glue gun. So when I'm ready, I can start gluing, which may be a total utter mess, but we'll see. Okay, so the difference between the window and the arch, uh, the doorway is this. Okay, so here we have. And caught up. Perfect. Oh, I have to do it like this, right? I keep forgetting I put my pencil in my ear. <laughs> do you guys do that? I do that all the time. Where I'm like, where's so my it's pencil? It's the same shape. Door and window is the same shape, only the bottom has been cut away as well. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I'm forgiven for my incorrect pronunciations because I'm Irish, apparently. <laughs> is that it? Dude, that, is that how that works? I can talk with an Irish accent too. I'll just talk with an Irish accent on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> apparently it is one of the top two sexiest accents in the world. Oh, so, you know. oh. <laughs> Come out of you, Michael. It certainly is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, yeah. apparently to Tina, uh, yeah. they have such a yummy accent. So, well, there you go. There it is. Yummy accent. Uh, okay. I wasn't connected. Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is my buttress wall. This is the... Uh, the little block, which has, it's a three and a half inch high, one one eighth of an inch wide and five eighths of an inch thick, or nine times three times 1.7 centimeters. And this has to be a buttress wall. So what do I do? I will, um, I will make, like if this is a buttress wall and I glue it, on the side of the wall, yeah, it's it, it doesn't look nice. So we're gonna make a buttress-like shape. So uh, approximately from the top, let's start from the top. I will make a uh, there. You go. Oh man. So it's it's it's, it's from this corner I go in approximately uh, a centimeter which is uh, through three eighths of an inch uh, a little bit in a in a uh, in a uh, how do you call it 
in an angle, right? An angle. Yeah. And then I take my ruler and again, I, I just do it on the fly. I go down approximately six, six centimeters, which is what a bit better. Pop, pop, pop. Two, uh, two and a half, maybe a little bit less, two, three, three eighths of an inch. In a, again, in a angled way. Wait, wait, I'm looking for my camera. There it so is. So you okay. see? Yeah. Yep. And then with the same angle, you, the same, the angle you see here, I will repeat that angle over there. So, mm -hmm. hop, hop. So this is, uh, this is the, this is the butter's wall I want. Okay. So, but let me see. This is upside down. This must be good. Yeah. So this is my buttress wall. Yeah. And I'm going to cut that shape out using the proxy. Actually, if you, if this, these are my buttress blocks. And if, imagine this was one thick block, I could uh, cut out this shape, this buttress shape. Yeah. Then have a thick block in that shape and then slice it in four equal pieces. Uh, it's a little bit risky, but I like risky. So I Ooh. stack them together and I'm going to cut the four buttresses in one go. Do it. Go. It's not right. called the crazy crafter for nothing. It's it's bandsaw time. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm used. It's bandsaw time. I feel like that needs like a special pop out like animation. Like it's bandsaw time. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I think you can see this very good from above. Uh, you see that I use my fence to support the blocks. Um, I want to... Okay, there we go. I cut... First, I cut the top angled piece. So that one I've got now. And then I cut the bottom piece. Again, I do this now uh, four at a time, but you can do this also one by one, right? So here we go. And I go in, but then I have to stop within the foam. So if I'm at the point where I have to stop, I switch off the machine. The switch and this, you know, switching it off will prevent it from cutting, uh, cutting any yeah. further. Yeah. So you can make the adjustment and then re-switch the angle, right? Yes. Yeah. And then you can get it out. Yep. But I am adjusting Great. my my cut, I'm not satisfied, so I do it again. You know, okay, Gerard, that, that's one of the things that I picked up from you um, that I hadn't really thought of before, having worked with the Proxon for about a, a little over a year now, is mm -hmm. if you can turn it off and make the adjustment to like, to do yes. whatever you need it to do. And I kept forgetting, I'm like, ah, oh, what a... What a simple, what a simple thing. Again, just th things that I ha never had, hadn't, hadn't, hadn't considered before. That that, that yeah. has helped me. Uh, I don't. It's just uh, I don't. It's kind of boosted my confidence whenever I use the Proxon because it's like it's always like when I've turned it on before that I was just like I have to get everything right this go go around. I'm like no, you don't. You can just yeah. do your cut and turn it like turn it off. I was like, man, so simple. Yes, and, so simple. And actually. Um... When you do freehand cutting, or you make you make very difficult cuts, yes, um, uh, it, it's 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 really advisable to have a foot pedal um, yeah. because uh, while you cut, you can have both of your hands on your block, and if if you need to shut the power down, you simply have to lift up your foot foot and uh, okay. Yep, John John Hosenfeld literally just wrote that in chat just before Gerard said it. He said foot pedal would be awesome. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I agree, John. It's kind okay, of now, on my list. As you can see, I made my four buttresses in one go. A uh, quick question for you, Gerard. Yes. Uh, what what temperature setting are you working with? Okay. Well, I've worked with. Um, I have. Uh, five or six of these machines at home. Crazy, but I have. Um, and I've, I've seen a, hundreds of these machines. And the reason why I'm starting with this is I realize now that um, not every machine is the same. 
So if I say like what I did just cut, uh, I did it on, let me see, uh, heat three, uh, number three uh, on the regulator, right? Um, I'm not sure. If, if you, let me, ex I, I, I want to explain something. Um, if you want to cut something and it's, you, you have to work very precise, um, if you work precise, you work at a certain speed, uh, the speed that, um, that with which you feel com comfortable, <laughs> feel, feel happy about, right? Gerard, can I interject for a second? Yeah. So whenever I'm working with my stage combat students, we have like, like, it's so funny that we have the exact same saying. I always tell okay. them whenever they're learning new choreography, um, and they're like, how fast should I go? And I said, oh, always go the speed at which you can be awesome. Okay. So <laughs> if you cut some something like these, these buttresses, um, again, this the speed, um, I'm looking for a little block. Okay. So the, the, the speed is, uh, uh, um, speed has to be uh, comfortable. So, if I cut, let, let's assume that this is a thick block. Let's assume this, or maybe not, I don't, whatever. This is a block of foam and uh, this is a rest piece. And I know I have to make a very difficult cut. So before I do that, I simply, I have it on three now and I go in with the block and I'm, I'm looking at a few things. How fast do I need to move the block in order not to get a cut that is too wide? Uh, meaning that the heat burns away too much of the foam. Yep. And another thing that is very important is with the speed I am pulling and pushing the block, does the wire bend away from its normal position or not? Mm. So if you have a speed that feels good and the wire isn't being pulled or pushed away from its upright position, then that is the speed you need to go for. So uh, for instance, if I put it very low, very low, very low, okay, and I start cutting now, then I'm pushing away the wire out of its, uh, its, its up, upright position and I really have to pull and push. So this is way too, so I speed it up and oh, this, oh, this is, oh, oh, this is great. Oh, this is lovely. So it's more <laughs> about the, the tactile aspect of it as opposed to the actual heat of the string. Uh, uh, actually, if you have a proxon and you look at um, the dial, you will see it's a black dial with black numbers on it. Um, Okay, I have to admit, uh, it, it, it's very difficult to read the, 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 num the numbers. So uh, in, order not, in order not to lose too much time in uh, looking at these numbers, which I cannot read anyway, again, I take a block, put it on, I look at the speed, I regulate the heat. Okay, that's good. And then, so, so that's that set of questions. Sorry, Michael. He was asking in the chat there. Say that again, Michael. We missed that. We missed that. That question about the heat, etc., was from Sonder in the chat. Ah, I hope okay. I said. I hope I said Sa his name right. Sonder. Uh, oh, Sonder. You got to roll that R. Sonder. No, no, not got... Sonder. 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 Dang it, Sonder. Dang it. It's gonna take me a bit of time. I'm gonna work. I'm working on it, guys. We'll We're gonna get it. I think that yes. was the perfect answer, though. I think within uh, a stream or 10, 12, we will get it. <laughs> okay, so um, I will start and glue my walls. And again, uh, glue gun. Okay, well, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, shuddered. you literally shuddered at the glue gun. Yes. Um, okay, so now we are at the stage of gluing walls. I am at the stage where I can glue my walls together. Look at that. Now, did you glue these together already? The um, the smaller ones. Did you already glue those together? 
Uh, is this the question for me? Yeah. Oh, this is no, no. This is, I, I'm just starting. This is the first. This is the first one. Oh man, you missed out on something very, very unique. The first time live, I am using a hot glue gun. <gasps> there it is. First time live. Okay. There it is. First time live. Oh. Yeah, I managed. Um, again, but it doesn't feel very safe. I mean, okay, the few things, and this is why I don't like it. Um, the heat from the glue gun is melting the foam away. Um, so I know this is a double layered wall, so you will not see it, but it, with, with very, uh, let's say, uh, uh, thin connections, I think I cannot make it. Uh, with, I cannot do this with a, with a hot glue gun. And if I look at the top, I see there is a little space between the two layers now. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this. Yeah. See it. You can see it. There is a very little opening, which means that this, this, this glue is thick. And if I should glue it with wood glue, either a very thin film, it will fit perfectly. But again, because we are want to, we want to speed up. Hey, this is my challenge. Let's go on. I mean, I find whenever I glue with the XPS foam with hot glue, if I slide it around before you land it in its final position, it kind of thins out the gap a little bit. Okay. Rather than just pressing. Well, actually, I'm, I'm learning here, right? So I'm learning as well. So, okay, next one. And I don't, uh, I, I'm just going for a few spots. Like it's not that I need to uh, cover up the whole sheet. Right, you don't need to use the whole glue, glue stick. Yep. <laughs> you don't? Yeah, <laughs> weird, right? That's something where, man, uh, the, all the hot glue, all the hot glue. Nope, just lightly thin, especially for, Especially this for this foam core, this little light one. But to be honest, it does work quick. It does. That it does. Oh, are we gonna convert? Are we gonna convert Gerard? Uh, He's I, 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 I see this for terrain builds, like making big, big rocks and stuff. Yeah, sure. But again. For houses and no, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Actually, as with like every um, tool, there's a right time and place, right? That's right. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Wisps. I think. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I was just saying wisps. Wisps for days. Oh. I was uh I was yeah. gluing the other day with uh, hot glue, working on on a build, and um, so my wife turned to me. She's like, "You got it in your beard." I was just like, "Of course I do." Like wisps Ooh. everywhere. Ridiculous. It's a new fashion. It, it's very Christmassy, right? Kind of looks like snow or icicles dangling from my beard. Very festive. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, I will as, uh, put the building together now. Um, yay! Now, now this is a uh, little bit awkward, maybe, because if I make this rectangle build, um, I will set it up so you can see it uh, from above, how, how I will do it. You see that the smaller walls go inside the larger ones. So this is my, my build. The idea is to ruin it. So a lot of this wall of this build will be removed, thrown away. Um, be, if you would like to make a build that is textured as well from the out, and inside, uh, you might not want to assemble the whole building uh, at this stage. Mm. Like maybe glue two parts uh, and the other two parts so you can easily access um, the inside as well. Um, but um, I will turn this into a room anyway, and I have very short pencils and 
So I decided I will glue it all together at nice. this point. Yep. Let's do it. Now, the few things, the short wall goes inside, so not on the outside, on the inside of the longer wall. And there's another thing. Each wall has an outside and an inside. Now, I must admit, uh, all, I also make mistakes. Like, uh, if you don't pay attention, you might end up uh, gluing the wall the wrong way. Like, that the inside is now the outside, uh, and you don't want to do it. So check if you got, have the right side of your wall. Okay. Copy that. Enough blah, blah. This is crazy. Oh man, this works. This works really fast. Well, uh, the the glue. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, Colin. Yeah. There is a challenge for next week for you. Uh, <laughs> is to is to turn up on the stream with a glitter beard. A glitter beard. Yeah. Okay. So, well, so I've said I've said haha, let's make it happen for Christmas. Uh I mean uh we could do that. Uh a, a glitter beard. I got I, I actually have um uh you know, you're talking about the stream next week. This is kind of a, a cool time to to share with folks that Sunday isn't going to be the only time I go live. Um, starting this next week, uh, I'm I'm going to uh, at least a couple of times. I, my initial plan, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go, I'll go, I'll I'll, I'll I'm gonna do at least three live sessions uh, over over the next uh, week. Uh, it'll be this our traditional Sunday one. We got a guest next week, but then I'm gonna go live tomorrow and Wednesday as well. And I'm 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 thinking a little bit kind of the on tomorrow kind of doing the same time to try to keep it uh, uh, available for uh, those those of you across across the world watching internationally. But uh, those other sessions are just going to be me working on some crafts. I've got some really cool ideas. So if you want to learn more about those live streams, tune in tomorrow around. I'm going to start it at um, around uh, probably either 11 or 12 Pacific Standard Time. So it'll be a little bit in, in the evening for you folks uh, internationally. But uh, I'm going to start tomorrow with uh, the build that Michael sent me on our cro cross collaboration between that one videos. I got this really cool Dwarven Cemetery that I'm going to be painting up and building some extra extra stuff to fill fill the, 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 the ominous caverns that he created for me. So tune in tomorrow to check that out. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll, I'll be tuning in. I can't wait to see That's that. That's going to be fun. Uh, you now have a second challenge. Okay. Glitterbeard is... I have a, I'm writing it down. Glitterbeard is one. Yeah, so for week two, Carl Makes Stuff Is says, I have a bigger challenge for Colin. Get glitter free by the week after. <laughs> <laughs> we we did uh, hung Christmas decorations uh, a couple weeks ago, and we decorated our front porch. And um, we used some, like, uh, spiral spool... Uh, like it almost looks like candy canes for our pillars, our wooden pillars, but they are glitter bombs and I was covered in glitter. So if only I'd have known then, I, I wish I'd have taken a picture of my, my, uh, my, my glitter imbued self after, after that. So glitter beard and then glitter free challenge accepted, ladies and gentlemen, challenge accepted. I, uh... I, I teched a dance company once and came into my, my theater and they tell us that one of their dances <coughs> featured a kid throwing a single small handful of glitter and we found it, we still found specks of it three years later. Oh yeah, it, glitter is crazy. Yeah. It doesn't go away. It doesn't go, it doesn't away, go away. So be forewarned, um, I have a challenge for all of you. You can't just throw, uh, throw the gauntlet down without me throwing it back. I want to see your builds uh, this next week. How do you incorporate some sort of glitter component to your builds, right? You don't have to cover yourself in glitter. That's my challenge. But 
how can you incorporate uh, glitter into into your next uh, and future crafts over this next week? And then email them to me. Tag me on Instagram. I want to see them. So, Gerard, uh, is this back window to stay intact? There's just one entrance way, yes? Is that correct? Yes. Cool. Yes. Great. Right. Um, but if you like, you can also make uh, a two, two, two entrances or an, ex uh, an yes. exit or whatever. I like so, uh, way in. Now, yep, perfect. So I have now I have my buttress wall, and here I here's the twist. Now, sure, we can place a buttress on the side, right? Mm -hmm. Like this, yeah. And we can even make two in a corner. No, we don't. We're going to do this a whole different way. So I take the buttress, and if you look from above. I will place it in a 45 degree angle. You see it? It goes to the side. Now, <clears throat> I lift it up, I put it on top of the wall, and I draw a line uh, from in, in this 45 degree angle. And this line is as long or as wide as the buttress wall is thick. So. So here you see the line where here's the line. Yep, I can see and, it. Yep. Yep. And you do it in all the four corners. Now, <clears throat> there is a, a, another little fun, but also a very important detail. If you look very closely uh, at every angle thing, um, within the angles, the, the connection between the walls will be thinner because I'm cutting stuff away. Now, to actually also for um, decorative purposes, you you cut four little strips of nine centimeters long, uh, one fifth times one fifth of an inch thick, little beams, and we go to glue these beams into each corner. Mm. So beams nine centimeters high, approximately five or six millimeter uh, thick. Uh, so, do that. Looking for a recipe. Uh, okay, this will do. Let me see. This is mine. Oh, rest. Okay. So now I'm making. Okay, that one. John Lombardi saying, if you've seen the final video of his Dwarven series, I still have gold glitter on his on my floor. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was, no that was one quite a escape, while ago. No one can escape the uh, the glitter. It's it is it is vast. So a glitter beard. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to think about beard. There's so many different ways you can go about a glitter beard. I think um, it would, you know, as, as large as, bottles of glitter. Ooh, ooh. I, I, I think as, um, you know, fellow co-hosts of the show, uh, Danny and, and Michael should probably do glitter beards too. <laughs> well, I think uh, if that's next week, I might be off camera again next week. Then. <laughs> Just like, I swear it looks great. I look great in my glitter. I'm beard. covered in I'm glitter. Covered in I'm it. covered in glitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no okay so I did cut my four little beams and I want to glue them uh, in every corner on the inside Got a little, I have a box. I've got a box. That's looking good, Colin. Yeah, it's coming along. You keeping up? Yeah, it's, 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 uh, this is a fun build. I like, I like the, you know, something else that I really enjoy about your builds, Gerard, is the layering, uh, to create the depth mm -hmm. within, uh, windows, doorways, archways. It's, um, it's, I, I, I really, I really enjoy, enjoy all the texture that it creates with that too. Well, thank you. 
Um, okay, so beams. How connect uh my beams here? What was the thickness of uh, one fifth times one fifth of an inch? Okay. Approximately. Oh. oh, yeah, I can strip those. That's... I have an idea. Okay. Now, this is nice. So we have the four beams in place as well. And now comes, I think, uh, there are a few fun parts still to come, but this is a really fun part. Oh. And the most fun is if you mess up, then you really mess up. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> is that again, your disclaimer? No, but then again. <laughs> It's a uh, it's a rune. It has to be a rune. Right. Exactly. Um, That's just it. So <clears throat> here's this thing. Uh, I um, I did mark every corner with this little line, with this little a uh, pen uh, line, uh, and I want to cut this with the uh, uh, with the machine <laughs> using the machine. <clears throat> now, if you feel confident, you can sit. You can cut at that line straight away in one go. If you not feel confident, then don't go on the line itself, but maybe you can try with a little sc a scrap piece of foam, or you simply draw another line in front of the line. So, and you just test it. So the first line you test it. And if you say, oh, it's, this goes great, then you do the, the the line you do have to cut. Now, another thing, very, very important. We have one opening, yes? Mm -hmm. Now, if I apply pressure from the side, see what happens. Yes? Yes, yes. Okay. Keep that in mind. If I go from to the other side, it doesn't happen. With all sides, no. But with this side, it gets in. So... If I should place this on the machine in the right angle, yes, <clears throat> don't push from the top side. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If you push from the top side, now keep your hand in, in your bill like this, align it with the wire, and if you feel confident, then you start cutting. No, not yet. Now, here's the thing. You have to put your project in a perfect, angle 45 degree if it's off it doesn't matter um but you want to have it as perfect as possible what you cannot see is that this is the way my hand these fingers are in my build my thumb is underneath the build and my thumb is resting on the table of the machine and is now supporting my build in a way that it cannot turn it cannot uh, uh, change angle. So I, I locked it in a kind of way and I'm feeling quite confident. So here it comes the first cut. And just look, there it is. Nice. And here is, oh, I have to have my cut. So oh, look at that. So now, if I place this and this, oh, this is nice. You, oh, yep. <laughs> oh, wait, I will do it like this. Yeah. And I think this is more interesting the way this buttress comes out of the building in an angle instead of just up front or from the side, right? So I'm going to cut all the four corners. I glue these buttresses on. And then we already have something. Yep. I 
am inspired by our conversation earlier in the week, Gerard. And for the buttresses on the side, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going. I was, I'm, I'm, I'm following an inspiration down the rabbit hole on something. I'll show it to you. Uh, yeah. When it, okay. when it either works or it doesn't. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to remember. We discussed a lot, I believe. So not sure. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Just and actually. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, yeah, go ahead. So... I was just going to oh, no. say, just let let you guys know that the um, the stream's just going beautifully this time. Uh, so, Colin, your your purchase of a new computer system was a big win. I would yeah, say. It, it it was time. Like I, it's something that I was just like, I'm either doing this or I'm not. You know, uh, and I that I have that's a huge shout out to my buddy Richard Quiner, uh, who is another YouTube content creator, uh, the RPG Daily, and uh, Richard was instrumental in. Uh, familiarizing me initially with OBS and streaming and helped me start going live. In addition, he also thankfully got bored at the beginning of quarantine back in March and built a computer. And, you know, Richard is a professional uh, editor, so his old computer was brand new and he just got bored and was like, I'm building a new one. So I, he's been holding on to it and I was like, I will buy that off of you. So I got very, very lucky, Michael, and I'm so glad I did it though. Oh cool, man! Yeah, it also looks really cool. Yeah, it's coming together. Uh, it's it continues to grow, um, and that's 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 the hope. That's the hope. All right, so let's see. This may be a little wide, but I'm gonna. Try I might it. just do a hard, a hard sell for you and say if you guys haven't subscribed yet, just jump oh, on there and do. click the subscribe button. Please do. Why not? I, I, I had the the the, uh, the one little thing. Thank you for that reminder, uh, Michael. Uh, I have like a really cool little animation, but it's like I have to like figure out how to. I've I've hidden it behind all of our cameras, and I have to like uh, layer it up in OBS. But I had this cool animation, and I was like, yeah, it'll be great. And I clicked it earlier. You may have seen it. It like popped up, and it was like, Beep. it's like the corner of it. <laughs> so thank you for the reminder. Definitely. Um, if you are new to the channel, please, please, please give us a like, and then also please tell tell your friends about it. Like share share it when we go live. This is this is, again this this community grows stronger and is is best shared with um, with with friends. So please, we we love having you here. Dang. So so I had from... my build with uh with all cores. You go ahead, Gerard. Oh, sorry. All quarters are in place now. Um, exactly. But um, we are not there yet. So I will put the project upside down. I will have to measure. And I have to write it down. So the width of the project from the Outer, the most outside point of the buttress left and right is 14 centimeters in my build and is a pro it, let's say five and a half inch wide. It, it can be a different, uh, different uh, length. Now, the, uh, this side is 18.5 centimeters or seven to eighth of an inch. Okay. <clears throat> I want to put this building on, I want to uh, make this building a little bit higher. Um, so there will be another layer underneath which will lift the building and that will be approximately five eighths of an inch, which is uh, 1.7 centimeters. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yes, 1.7 centimeters high. So I need to cut a sheet that is uh, five eighths of an inch thick or 1.7 inch high. But it has to be a big sheet. It has to be larger, wider, and longer 
than this, but not that much. <laughs> Um, really not that much. So let me see, uh, approximately 15 centimeters. Just checking again. Yeah, 15 centimeters. Uh, I will give the Imperial and 19.5. Okay. So um, for the metric people, um, approximately 1.7 centimeters thick. 15 times 19.5 centimeters, big sheet, yeah? Which is in imperial, uh, so this is seven, four eighths of an inch long and oh, six inch wide. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. All right. So, couple of couple of things, Gerard. I I can show you. I can show you here, my friend. So, yep. you showed me how to round foam on the edge of the yeah. table. Yeah. Yes. In the yes. So, yeah. I took a little bit of the foam core and I rounded it, and then I got a little too too liberal and I kind of snapped it in the middle, but it's got this already this cool crack for the ruined look, which I think will work great. So I just created the round buttress yeah. on the side right there. Perfect. Yeah. Kind of fun. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And all I did with that for, for those of you that, um, uh, when I talk about the round, uh, feature, uh, let me see here. I can actually, I can use, I can, I, I have, a, I have, I can show an example show, of how oh, to that's make great. Do, that would be, that would be fantastic. Give us, give us, give us a um, show. Okay. Now let me see. I do something. I will. Uh, okay. Uh, can we see my hands now on the edge of the table? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay, cool. So now if you want to make a wall that is round, a wall that is round, so so like uh, like in this build, three and a half inch high, five millimeters thick, and it has to be round. And then people, then maybe you don't have thick foam, and so how do you do it? So now here I have a sheet. It's a uh, one fifth of an inch thick, and sure I can I can bend it, but you feel resistance, uh, and it will not stay in in the shape you want. So I'm going to massage it, right? Okay, so here we go. I put the sheet, now I have an edge of a table and it you don't want a very sharp edge. So it's this one is a little bit rounded down, which is great. So here we go. I go. Look at that, that is awesome. Now, I tried it earlier okay. in the week and I used a really thick piece of foam and Gerard was like, <laughs> that's a really, I, 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 the first time I did it it, it, it was too thick for me. Okay. But this is, that's a, the, the thinner you get it, the better the bend and the easier it is to make it malleable. Look at that, that's so cool. Now, but, but uh, now, uh, since this is a table edge, um, it's, it's very hard to go around. But now, since I have the curve, uh, I simply uh, take uh, around. Oh, let me see. Oh well, uh, I have a round stick. I'm not sure if this works, but let let's try. Oh, the round stick is good, like a little dowel, like that. That's perfect. Okay, it's getting rounder, it's right? Of a lot of awesome tips on round walls this week. Uh, Carl makes stuff. Also, did a video this week about making round walls. He did a totally different technique, but also very cool. Yep, yep. Yeah, that that video that is, is very cool. It's been on, up on his channel. Carl makes stuff. You guys should head on over and check it out. Look how cool that is. That's like a perfect. You can do so much with that technique. Just rounding the foam. I love it. Yes, and uh, again, you see, it still springs back a bit, but that's just. Just repeat the process up until you say, "Hey, cool! This is this is what I want." Uh, Gerard, does this only work with this thickness, or I mean, how no. thick? 
with your well, cutoff point for something like this? Pitch? Pitch as well. but, but look, uh, normally in this, when I should do what I'm doing now, this is this was the sheet before, right? Yes. If yes. I would do this without this technique, it would have been broken already. And mind you, um, oh, here's another thing. So um, I can also now go further using my fingers. So now you cannot see it because, but I'm actually bending the foam between my fingers. And you see, it's getting smaller and smaller, right? Mm -hmm. um, up to the point. And if you should do this in a, a, you want to have two layers and you glue them together, they go nowhere. Yeah. So, oh, looks nice. It's uh, whatever. It's uh, looks like uh, the front of a sled of the snowman. The the the, the uh, Father Christmas slow snow. What? Well, forget it. Okay, good. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, I will cut the uh, the large sheet now. Uh, cut it. Um, again. Sorry? I was, saying, I was like, cut it, cut it. Okay. Cut it so up. Again, um, seven, four, seven, four, eight. Is it four eighths? It's seven and a half, right? Mm -hmm. Where am I? Uh, where am I silly now? Yeah, okay, seven and a half inch. Man, uh, times six or 15 times 19.5. Okay, there we go. So, uh, I am I am deviating slightly from the plan at this point. Uh, I'm it. sure, I think this happens with the, the Proxon as well, but I had a... a I guess the Proxon version is the wire snapping. My bandsaw blade snapped today. Oh, so yay. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm punting. I'm, I'm solving problems as we go. What, uh, what's your solve? What are you doing? Uh, I'm glitter. Just, I'm, is I'm, the answer glitter? Glitter. <laughs> <laughs> throwing the glitter around. Yeah, it's gonna be fabulous. No, I'm, I'm stacking thinner sheets and and gluing them together and. I just can't mill down any of my thicker stuff. It's it's all good. Uh, before before we dive in here, guys, real quick, I just wanted to to share this with you guys, um, so you can kind of see it. Now you'll be able to see this pop up here in a second. But uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to pop this sander. Uh, uh, nope, nope, sander, sander, sander. God dang it. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it like uh it's gonna be part of my vocal warm-up from you know like instead of what to do what to do to die today i'm gonna be i'm just gonna be practicing names uh all week but uh i'll make up for it here in just a second uh, this is really cool so thank you for sharing this real quick uh let me share this with you guys it's coming up right now um we'll show you um some of the builds that uh what uh what he was working on this week uh this is going to transition and fade yeah here we go we'll we'll, we'll transition over real quick and we can check it out boom this. now we'll be a little bit behind because of the delay on the that's all right on you can stream i think to see it but. well uh it's it's coming up it's coming up um but it's coming up live this is this is sent from uh from from uh sonder <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm, I'm, I'm trying, but he's got a really cool workstation. It's popping up there where he, he uh, assembled this. He's got it. He can store his foam there. Table folds out, bust out the Proxon. His paints are in there. And he was working on some cool um, tiles this week. He was making some really neat dungeon tiles. Um, but he's yeah. he's got he's got the station all set up there. It's pretty sweet. Oh, I see. Yeah, that rad. Yeah, super cool setup. Love the tile. Love the the lines and the the detail on on the tile work there. And the stream cool. now. Yep. There it is. It's looking good, yeah. brother. That's, That's nice. a, a nice solution for folding the legs up. I love That's it, a right? Really nice solution. Yep. Yeah. So I have a quick question for Gerard. Just going back to the the curving the foam. Yeah. 
Uh, would that work on uh, something as thick as 20 centimeters thick XPS? 20 centimeters, that is... Uh, it's nearly thick? an inch. It's, it's nearly an oh, inch thick. Two, two, two centimeters, okay. Sorry, yes, 20 millimeters is what I meant, sorry. Okay, so um, here is... Um, I have a leftover piece, which is, I think, a little bit thinner, but let's check. So I have here a... Uh, piece that is, oh, 1.8 centimeters. Now let's try. Much more resistant, uh, much more, uh, yes. So this might take a longer time yeah, this is why I'm curious. Is that the 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 sheets that I can get are this thickness, mm. and I currently mm. don't have a prox on, but I I will oh, get sorry. one okay. as soon as I can. Um, actually, it does it, it bends, but um, if you think I can make a tower out of it with a diameter of three inch or something like that, it will be very hard. But. Uh, I use this technique uh, regularly, uh, but never on really thick uh, pieces. Uh, so I, I, I thank you for the question. It's nice to try something like this. Now there is uh, another thing. Now I'm working with this crazy uh, styro foam green uh, looking stuff, right? Um, and it has a kind of structure that is hard enough for engraving but it's also very it, it, it you can bend it um the way i'm doing now or like like this when it comes out of sheet without breaking and there are there are more types of foam that has another that they have another structure or they're built out of it different kind of chemicals, mm. which makes them uh, very, uh, they will break very fast if you try this. So it depends yeah. on the foam. I think the pink foam. Mine seems to be, be quite brittle. Yeah, mm. I thought, no, I really, I think that uh, what I remember from uh, my visit uh, to uh, Black Magic Craft, uh, I thought it was quite flexible, but um, well, I mean, I'm I, I'm not sure if I'm right here, but whenever I look at what you guys are using in America, uh, kaput, yeah, uh, when when I'm whenever I see what you guys are using in terms of pink foam over in America compared to what I've got here in the UK, it does look a little bit different. I mean, it's the same color. I'm just wondering if there might be a little bit of a difference, but I'm not sure. Hmm. There's a, it's entirely possible that due to like environmental regulations and stuff the the formulations on these things are different from country to country like i wouldn't be surprised if all of the, our variations of foam are just slightly different yeah so gerard we've got a block right and, and i made my block it looks like significantly bigger than your block uh, <laughs> okay now it, it has to be slightly larger than the um out, outer perimeters of your build and as you see, I'm just transferring the entire outline of my build on this block. I do this with a black uh, pen so you can see it. Well, just go all the way around. And not only from the outside, but also from the inside. Okay. Uh, when you come to the door, just you can draw a straight line if you like. Um, well, we'll see. Okay, and the again the inside as well. So. I think I see where we're going. Yeah, you feel what he, you jiving? You jiving with it? I am jiving, Turkey. <laughs> Very nice. So here is 
This is. Yep. Oh yes, look at that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's some, now, that's some proxon freehand action is what's about to take place. Absolutely, but this is only the exact shape of what what we have been building. So now, first the inside. You see the four corners where the beams stick out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I take my ruler and <clears throat> there where the uh, beams stick out, I will actually make the wall thicker. Um, and to, I, I have to show you so you understand what I mean. So uh, there where the beams are, I make little cross, a little cross, a little X, so you can see. And then you see what I've done with, uh, with these um, corners, these beam sections. So, okay. Now you see the X's, right? The, the, there are the beams, right? Yes. Now the beam sticks out and I draw a line from this beam to that beam. Yeah. Making actually the wall thicker. Yeah. Yep. And from that beam to that beam and from the outside of this beam to that beam. So actually the, 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 in, the inner part that I want to cut out is smaller. So you actually will get some kind of edge between the wooden beams yeah that sticks out is that yes. does that make sense yes i i get it yeah okay and and if not then um you you, you i will show you when it's cut and okay but not ready yet now i want to uh i can do this with my ruler uh but i can also do it freehand uh but i want to Go maybe, let me see, what, what did I do? A little bit over one eighth of an inch or maybe one eighth of an inch. I, I draw the whole, the whole uh, uh, drawing again, a little bit wider. Sorry, I'm getting a, a little bit tired. So if I'm rambling on uh, you're not rambling you're doing great this is awesome gerard i'm following i'm following it i'm tracing my foam right now i'm tracing the outline on my on my block just to give okay. you guys a time check we're about we're coming up to eight o'clock in the next within 10 minutes here so yeah yep. it's up to you gerard i guess yeah how are you, you feeling gerard? Gerard? i'm feeling great uh, uh we i have to cut this out and i want to make the base because i want to show you how simple but also how cool uh, it is to make the base, the, the actual base where this project will sit on with a th stairway all around. Nice. Um, if that is okay with you guys. Oh, that's perfect for me. Danny, how you doing? Love it. Let's do it. Right. Extra time with Gerard. Boom. Burr, 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 burr. Take it. <laughs> Party in the house. Ain't no party like an XPS party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's a t-shirt it, waiting to happen. New, it's the new party drug, right? It's right. So here we have it, uh, my drawing. And as you can see, I trace the the, the building, but I all, all, all over, all, 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 all on the outside, I made it a little bit wider. And now I'm going to cut it out. So here we go. Since it is very thick, I think you cannot do this with a hobby knife. If you want to, feel free to try. But uh, so first of all, I cut the four corners. One, two. And actually, um, being used doing this now, my fence is on the machine, but mostly I have it loose on the machine, and I have it simply. I have the handle to. Uh, to to get hold of it, to keep hold of it, not that it um, slips. 
at the corner. Come on. Oh, this is this is hopeless. You got it. Yep. You got it. Okay. Now um for the um Now I have to eyeball all of this and you will see uh, the block isn't really sitting nicely against the fence. It's at some point it touches the fence, uh, but you still have to more or less uh, eyeball it. And it's half, half freehand, half uh, support. Yep. I'm, since I have some rounded edge, I think I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna try. It. I'm gonna try freehanding it. Someone, someone sure. taught me some pretty good freehand techniques, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Cool. Go for it. <laughs> As you can see, I I, I I I turn it around and do the same corner every time. And when I'm in the corner and I, where I actually had, have to turn my project, I don't turn my project, I pull my, my sheet away from the wire. So I go up until the corner. And when, once I'm in the corner, you see, I'm pulling it away. Now here's oh, where oh. that. Now I'm bringing the guider back because I'm like, dude, there are the, the the straight lines where it does really help help you to. Yes. Now I have to cut straight lines as well. So. I just have to nip out here for a second, guys. I'll be back soon. Nip out. Nip out, my friend. Cool. Okay, so now I have the outside uh, is cut out. Now I go for the inside. Um, I go <clears throat> inside at one side of the door up until the inner line and take every inner line all the way around and go out on the other side of the door, I hope. And again, uh, adjust your speed if uh, so you are comfortable with uh, the cuts. Now, I have a question, Jerome. I went inside first. Does it matter to you whether you do inside or no. outside first? No, no. Perfect. You can do whatever you can Perfect. do uh, what you like. Awesome. Perfect. Let me see here. Oh, nice. <clears throat> nice. 
What did I miss? Oh, nothing. Uh, the uh, John Lombardi uh, t- finished his build this afternoon, um, and he uh, he tagged he tagged me. I'm gonna throw I'll throw it up on there for us. We can check it out here in a little bit. I'll show everyone. Cool. Yeah, pretty neat. Um, I'm gonna go anyone... and have a look. I'm gonna go and have a look right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, you can find it on Instagram as well, but I'm gonna put it up here for everyone to see on the stream as well. Um, if anyone else has anything, please tag me. Tag me on Instagram. Shoot me. Uh, shoot me that email, and I'll throw it up there. Looking good guys, looking good. Let me get in here to this. That. Oh, his build seems to be. Oh, he's uh, putting together a Shifting Lands Guider Pro 2.0. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's his build. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh. I cut out the inside now as well. So uh, you see? So here I have my shape. And now if I place this, my build on this, it looks a little bit more robust. Oh, I have to do it like this, I believe. And Tina, I hope I've said that right, is also putting something on Instagram. So oh, I'll great. get that to you, Colin. Uh, yeah. If you wanna, would you mind, brother? That'd be awesome. Like, shoot it. Just yep. me- shoot it to me on our Facebook Messenger right there. Yep. No That'll worries. Be perfect. Okay. So. Great. Uh, now I want to. Uh, well, one step further, and actually, we announce this as, as a ruined building, uh, but uh, actually, uh, with the next step, we'll take maybe 10 minutes, and then we ha- actually have the building ready, ready to be ruined. Uh, uh, <laughs> but maybe if I, if we start ruining, um, I can show, but well, we'll see. I, 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 I go for the base now. Let's do the base, and then we'll see where, we'll see how we're feeling. Yeah. We we could you know we'll, we'll see how froggy we're feeling, but we're we're doing this is great, Gerard. Should I, uh, no, should I attach this thing on the on the bottom? Um, no. Um, I I I would suggest uh leaving it, uh, not gluing it on. Um, be, for for maybe for um structuring purposes. Um. But if you if you just build it and you don't want to do anything with it, uh, sh- structuring or you can glue it on. But I don't I don't glue it on yet. Okay. Yeah. Um, I want to put this on a uh, elevate elevation, uh, and I have a block of foam here. And the thing is, it has to be um, uh, the the block has to be wider than. The, the project itself makes sense, I guess. Uh, and it has to stick out uh, front and rear. So this block is okay. This block is even, oh, let's take this block. I have a block here. And again, I'm just grabbing a block that is laying around here. Just to give you an indication, this block is, is, is how wide is it? We oh 19.5 wide and it's uh, 14 centimeters long so it's uh, it's uh, five and a half inch times seven and a half inch ish okay um, I'm going to uh, first. Uh, Oh no, there's no coating on here. That's good. And I make it, I make it three eighths of an inch thick, which is one centimeter. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I will. I have to cut two of these sheets. Uh, but now I'm cutting. And I see I am off screen with with the cut, so, but I cannot stop cutting now. So you're all right. Do do your thing. It's okay. We can bring it back and always chat chat about it. Well, it's cutting great, doing fine. Oh, so 
okay. Oh. You should have a couple of pictures in Facebook there now, Colin. Yeah, yeah. Teen, the, the, Tina, this 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 build looks awesome. I'm excited to share this. I'm I'm gonna upload it right now. I'm uploading both of these. Give me one second. I have it up here. I finished cutting out my base. I have my base now. Mine's definitely a little thicker. Um, it's th that inch yep. thickness, but no, I kind of like. I may cut it down a little bit. I may, well, I may just slide is, it across, like slice. I might just slice it, slice it down a little bit. Mine is significantly thinner because I, you know, bandsaws be like that sometimes. <laughs> they really do. Bandsaws be like that sometimes. There's another shirt. We're we're creating our own, our own clothing line here, gents. Okay, so I made the two sheets. Uh, let's see. I make, I cut one side, uh, both sheets at a time. So they are perfectly straight because I want to glue them together, forming one large space. So lovely. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And what were the sizes? What were the sizes of the, uh, of that? One more time, uh, Gerard. I'm sorry. Well, it, it it was just a leftover block. Yeah. Uh, but if you look at uh the top view, you see that the whole base of this build fits perfectly. Mm -hmm. Actually, you have uh oh, yeah yeah yeah, and you have a little maybe a little square yep. depending on if you place it more to the rear or yep. more to the front. I but see. you can also narrow it down. But uh. Assuming your base has the same size as as mine, uh, know that this area is uh, roughly uh, seven and a half times eleven inch, more or less. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Perfect. Now um, I want to. I will shorten it a bit, make it a little bit smaller. But this is all personal face. So Perfect. While you're shortening that, I'm gonna um, I'll flip on over and we'll show show off uh, uh, the builds that uh, that Tina and John have completed today. Hey, here we go. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool, Tina. You're gonna have to Tina. You're gonna have to talk to us about about that build now. Is that the interior shot that we were looking at, or the exterior? Like, what are you ma what are you making? And obviously, we can see what John. From tabletop witchcraft has made there. He's he's assembled successfully his guider his guider pro uh, next level. Yeah, uh, yeah, awesome. yeah, that's fantastic. That's cool. Yeah, that looks cool. And I love I love uh, teen. You have to tell us a little bit about 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 this build um, and how it is. But I love the keystone there in the middle with the stonework and that woodwork frame. Like, is that actual? Is like is that? Did you use wood or is that already textured foam? Because that's looking really really good. Yeah, that's love great. That. Love that. I love uh, that right. Tudor style exterior. Yeah, that it's it's looking looking fantastic. Bravo, bravo. Thank you guys for sharing sharing that. Um, well, as soon as as soon as you put that up in there in the chat, uh, we'll have Michael report back to us on that. Now I'll transition back to to Gerard here. Tina, Tina, Tina. 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 God. Yeah. Very good. Very Man, good. extra glitter in my beard next week, guys. Extra glitter in my beard next week. Um, that's okay. okay. This is off. Okay. Hey, Spider. About halfway through. Sure. I'm just um, um, cutting little strips of the base plate of the base, uh, but I'm done. Uh, and this is how I want the base plate to be. Not, not really, not totally. I'm putting this one on. And now I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting. Okay. Because now it's a flat area. Mm -hmm. um, so just a little bit, just eyeballing it. Okay. 
want to cut off a corner. And so uh, it will actually be a rectangle with cut off corners at, in the same angle as the. Oh, nice. As the buttress. Fancy. Fancy. I like it. Okay. This is testing, testing. Nope. Yes. And the, the, the piece I cut off is my template for the other corners. So normally I would uh, glue these two sheets together using wood glue and a few needles uh, in a 45 degree angle going in sideways uh, while pressing the two blocks very hard together. So there is tension uh, between them because the needles uh, keep them in place uh, and that um, dries and uh, sits wonderful when it's dry. Um, but again, uh, I think I use the, I have to use my uh, hot glue gun. Okay, I cut all corners now. Really fit. I'm like, oh, I wish I had a shot of this. My, uh, the, the piece of, the base uh, for for the stairs that it goes on here, Gerard, is like, I don't even know how it's guiding through and I'm cutting it. Like, we were talking about that extra six centimeters earlier in the stream. I wish I could use, I'm like, whoo, barely making it through. And now I'm going to do another fun thing. So here's my base. And there are still two parts. Um, I don't want to glue them together yet. I now take my hobby knife very lazy so i want to transfer i this is too high for a miniature to step on yep it has to be step one step two uh, so now i'm cutting the side exactly in the middle again you can use a ruler but i eyeball it and i cut in on one two three four five sides I go in uh, roughly, I'm not sure how far, actually. Uh, it depends how um, how deep you want your stairs to be, your steps. So I, I cut all five sides now. And now I de determine how deep. And I want to make them a little bit deeper, which is di more difficult, which means um, I cut on top. Um, from the side, roughly one, oui. Ah, how do you say that? Let's wait, wait. It's uh, eight millimeters, which is one, two, two eighths and, uh, oh wait, four, five sixteenths. Is that, a, is that correct? Five sixteenths? It sounds about right. Okay. Um, you again. You can do it with a, with a ruler. I eyeball it. So I take first this side. Now um, I can cut a little bit deeper, and depending on how deep you make your first cut. Oh, there it comes. There's loose, and there's my stair. There's my step. Right. Wait, 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 there it is. Ah. Not sure. Uh, will be more visible with the next. Okay.
It looks like you've seen it, Colin, but that was... I'm sorry, Michael, go ahead. I was just going to say that that build um, that was uh, Tina's work in progress of a book nook. Book nook. Yep. It's, it, it looks, it's super cool. I'm, you definitely have to, have to send some, uh, some updated uh, works in progress and send us the completed one, Tina, when you, when you finish it, it looks fantastic. Yeah. And, and just to confirm, I, I pulled out a ruler so I could measure my ruler and yes, it is uh, eight millimeters is almost perfectly five sixteenths of an inch. Nice. I'm learning. I'm learning. This is the piece. Okay, so here we have, yep, here we have the, uh, the stair. It's awesome. All around. Yep. Let me see that. I'm I'm missing it. Let me see. Stand by. Hold up. Oh, nice. Nice. So nice. now I do the other section, and then I can glue them together. John Lombardi is saying it was nice to hang out, guys. Um, he's got to go and print some plans to work with his new Guider Pro 2.0. Take care, all. Yeah. Take care, John. Thanks for hanging out, brother. Thanks. See you, John. Yeah, happy holidays Have to fun. you. Yep. And stay safe. Mm -hmm. That's a plus. I think I've got that marked. <laughs> oh man, I'm running out of. I that's what I would. That's what I'm looking forward to uh, creating um, to get a bigger, bigger desk to work work from. <laughs> so much, everything from, you know, the computer setup to to the crafting setup, it's quite fun juggling this small space. Oh, it's crooked. Oh. I fixed it. That'll be fine. Yeah. That'll be fine. Ooh. How are we doing there, Danny? Uh, I'm I'm doing great. Doing great. This is fun. This Good build. Remarkable. Gerard, uh, I'm so thrilled that we were able to have you have you back on and you're able to come come back and hang out with us again so soon. It's so. it's well actually it's uh it, it really is fun for me as well. Uh, uh we, we talk we, we talked before uh we went live about how small the world is. Um uh, I've been out um uh, I haven't been out since since March, uh, only going to the, the drugstore and uh, sending some 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 parcels to the post, uh, and right. that's about it. Um, and that uh, okay, no, I'm not depressed, but uh, sometimes I do feel a little bit well. 
lonely maybe i'm not yes. sure how to yes. i miss i miss the, the the context i miss miss people i miss yeah. i miss my workshops and amen uh, so it's great uh it's it for me it's also a kind of therapy you could almost say right yeah yeah so, the, yeah i think, we're, we'll I think we're all feeling that yeah mm. yep okay um i'm waiting for my hot glue gun to get hot and then I glue these together. And actually, um, <clears throat> and this is what makes it fun. I mean, we start off with a block, we cut some sheets, and um, by simply uh, removing stuff, um, um, we try to make something that looks interesting. And I think this is a nice example. You can take a base, you can take a rectangle sheet and you put your building on and say, okay, this is it. Uh, but by simply, by simply um, uh, adding these steps and cutting these corners, the shape starts to be more interesting. And just a, a, pre, a, a little idea how I should structure this using my pencil, and in this case, also a knife. Um, so this is how I think this uh, base. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I ran away from the stream because I dropped my hot glue gun on the rug, <laughs> and I had to go. I had to go rescue rescue the hot glue gun. Well, rescue the rug. Yeah, really. Yeah, Continue yeah. on. <laughs> I, I, I've talked about um, the shape. And uh, by cutting the corners, adding the steps, uh, yes. it, it starts to look more interesting. Yes. And if you apply the structure, I use my pencil, I use my hobby knife, uh, I think you might end up with something like this. Oh, oh that yeah. looks so cool. Oh, oh <laughs> it looks so good. So but... imagine you have your ruin. Uh, right here, yes, this is a, a different type, I know, but the idea is the same. So, wait, I have to, sorry, let me find a way to, to show it to you. Yeah. Or to be, wait, Take I have to, I, okay, I do my best, so. It's actually looking absolutely awesome Gerard yeah. I'm just watching here it's yeah. uh, it's amazing that you can build something like this in such a short space of time now there there, there is a, a catch um, now you're looking at this building actually it started off like the building we are just we are building today right yep. uh, but bear in mind um, since I have to explain um, normally uh, the build will be for me a, a little bit faster but apart from that apart from that I um, learned I experienced that uh, cutting and building uh, a, a, a simply cutting as what we do now and assembling it is approximately 10 maybe 15 percent of the time you need to actually uh, uh, build it uh, full. Uh, I mean, if you have the shape, say, okay, cool, I'm already there. But then you start to apply structure and that takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to discourage you, but <laughs> okay. Um, it's not discouraging. Are you open, just, open to a few questions here, Gerard? Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Just a couple of questions for Gerard in the chat. So... <laughs> Sandra yeah. um, says, so Gerard, what do you recommend we'd use for sealing and basing our foam projects? Last week, I believe someone mentioned that paint and wood glue has the same effect as Mod Podge yeah. and paint. Yeah. Great question. Well, um, well, it's interesting. I mean, if you want to go to, let's say, if you want all uh, everything that you use uh, for um, protection, like uh, applying some kind of base material or base coat that makes your project more durable, harder. Um, I think everything 
from wood glue to mud, much patch to fabric hardener, it all works. Um, um, wood glue combined with paint is a very cheap solution. Um, much patch, which actually, in my opinion, uh, does more or less the same. It costs more, and this, and I don't use both of them. I use fabric hardener, and fabric hardener is uh, awesome. And the reason is this: um, I can actually build a build. I can paint it. I can highlight it. I can whatever. I mean, when it comes to paint. And if it's finished, then I go over it with fabric hardener. Now, fabric hardener is, um, um, well, it, okay, so it's, it looks like milk. So if you apply it on your structure, and mind you, I did it with, 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 a, with a fully painted church, and it looks white. But within 10, 15 minutes, it's all gone. It's crystal clear and... Now, one sheet, one layer doesn't do much, but I apply three to four layers and then it gets quite hard. I did a test. I made uh, a, a one life-size, a one-on-one -on -one, a bolter, a big, a big sh gun. Um, and um, <coughs> I applied it with uh, this fabric hardener, four, five or six layers. But I also made a test. So I, I had... Six sheets, uh, no fabric hardener, one layer, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And then I had a metal ball and from the same height, just to see what it does. And five or six layers, sure, it, it's a lot was a large metal ball. It still has a dent, but if you compare it with no layer or one layer of this fabric hardener, uh, it's a huge difference. Sorry, long story. That's a great answer, That's though. Okay. And um, also, just Carl makes stuff says this. This build is a thing of beauty. Mm -hmm. He's loving what you're doing today. Yeah. I, now let's see. Oh, I was just so showing. I have my uh, yeah. real quick, Gerardo. I was just showing, um, showing the folks at home. I I kind of went for a different instead of doing it completely. Uh, rounded and squared off on the back. I have a different. I got really excited about this. I'm gonna put mine flush to the back here, where you can see it. And then what I'm planning on doing, I'll show you too, Gerard. Right? Is it's flush with the back, and I'm gonna build. Okay. I'm gonna build up on it. I'm gonna add a wall behind behind this. So okay. I'm gonna expand yeah, it sure. vertically uh, as well for that. I'm gonna come back to Gerard's view here. Just wanted to. No, show but that to but. You. Uh, and, and actually, I think that's the fun part. Right. Um, last, last, uh, last time we did uh, a, a little basic exercise, like we build it, uh, we build a wall. And uh, the fun thing is that um, you explain every step, but <clears throat> I've, I've, I've seen hundreds of people doing that exercise. No wall looks the same. And that's the cool thing. So um, I, I don't expect people to exactly come up with the same, uh, with, with the same result. Right. I think it's great when people say, okay, you want Gothic? I don't want Gothic. I want Arabic windows or I don't want windows or I want a different shape of buttress. But it's not about that. It's about knowing how to go on, how to start with a project like this and how to build efficiently and any shape is okay um gerard sorry just going back to the the, yep. the ceiling question carl makes stuff has got a question for you following on from that he said can i ask would the fabric hardener be enough for the bottom of a project mm. one of the places i play on have textured tables so they mm -hmm. so they're around oh. 40 euro years old and there's textures like sandpaper on the table would would it be enough to protect the bottom of your project hmm. um 
most honest question. I have to test it. I, I should test that. Um, um, yes, and also, do protect. you have a reference brand? A, a yes, reference yes, I have. I have. Uh, actually, um, let me think. The, uh, let, yes, I have. Give me a second. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Uh, the, the, the brand question is from Sondr. I think I'm starting to get it. From who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I'm not getting it. Okay. Uh, I, actually, I want to go uh, in the garage and check if I can find it very quickly. And then, then go for I can it. show you. Uh, but I pinned the project now on the... Oh, that looks great. That looks great. Uh, I so love. I, I love. Uh, I. Yeah. I just. I. I love. I love the. Uh, the beveled. The beveled corners. Like you said, it's just. Mm -hmm. Again, it's another dynamic. Um, it's just. It's. It's just creating more unique shapes and textures within the layers of the piece. I really, really like the beveled. The beveled look. Uh, the, the. The idea is. Uh, you want to make an interesting shape. Mm. Uh, but um, the shape also has to be more or less con consistent. Like uh, the, the the corners, uh, they, they go out in, in this angle and you see the angle back into the base plate. So um, that's that's the idea. Again, it's very personal, but uh, okay. So I love uh, okay. is to to look at it, it. I'm not the only one making making improvements to the stream here. I don't know if you can see it too there, Gerard, but Danny's got his work view that he switched over there to give us a little over the top shot of of of. Oh, um, oh no! Oh, was, oh, oh, okay. No, where where can I see this? It's on. It's oh, on yeah. Zoom. Oh yeah, it's sorry. On Zoom yeah, yeah, right yep, there. Yep, yep. He's got it yes. right there. So you check it yep. out. It looks really good, Danny. It looks great, brother. And and you already start structuring. Uh, I see. Oh yeah. Ooh. Now, uh, now this is an interesting point. I mean, uh, so actually, I, I said, okay, we, we've done we've done building. Now we have to start destroying. And and um, I know <laughs> that sometimes if you build something <laughs> together with with a group of people, and you come to the point where you say, okay, now we start destroying, that people say, no, 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 it's so cool. Uh, I would like to add a roof. Uh, I haven't thought about a roof. Uh, we have to destroy the building. Uh, sometimes it's difficult for people to start to destroy that what they have built. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think I think it's 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 um it's you know it's always a tough choice, but I like the ruin. Like ruins are such a common common encounter in 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 uh, mm -hmm. in tabletop uh, gameplay. Whether you're you're warhammering or uh, in D and D or Frostgrave, it doesn't matter. Uh, and and. Mm -hmm. Uh, like you, we've we've chatted many times before. You can hide your mistakes, and the 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 ruin is just it's it's okay. It doesn't matter. It's yes. not ruined. Yes. It's it's enhanced yeah. texture. Yeah, and 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 here is a fun part. If you make ruins, um, if you look at uh, the walls, you 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 know you've built it. It's double layered, right? right. It has a front and a rear wall. Yes. Now. This will help you in actually. Um, now look at the my 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 finger is pointing. I will go closer. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure if this is visible. Uh, let me see. You see that parts of the wall at the front are broken away, so the rear wall pops up, right? Yep. And actually. You do this all over the place because you have two layers. You can now um, play with the front and rear wall by by simply removing only, sorry, only stuff from the rear or the front wall, uh, which makes it look a bit more realistic. Right. Does it make sense? It does. Yeah. It does. Okay. Um, and you know the. Uh, the techniques that we've shown on the previous um, the previous live stream as far as like getting in there and texturing it with your individual stonework. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't seen that video, if you do go to it, go to the edited one. There's two of them that exist. There's an edited version and it's labeled as such. Go to that one. 
uh, it's it's uh, synced up a little a little a little bit better, and you can follow along the techniques and the audio a little bit a little bit s- smoother. Uh, that was prior to stream 2.0. Uh, but that if it, you know the sky's the limit. Show now. What do you have there? Is that the um, is that a roof? Oh, actually, no, actually, it's just you, um, you can compare it with the project we are building. So we again mm-hmm. we have a base, uh, but it is a, a, a T shape. Maybe I'm not sure. And it has not two steps, but three steps. And the 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 the, the uh, thicker base, uh, which we cut out of one piece, uh, on which the walls stand, it's that is this 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 area. So uh, this was just a test piece. Um, so in this case, I flipped the whole process. I started with the base. I added the. Uh, lower part of the wall, and then I build up my wall. So um, the way it, the shapes are, uh, how do you call it? Numer- numerous or infinitive, or how do right. you say it? It's infinite. Infinite. Okay. infinite. Yeah. Infinite. The, the the shapes are infinite. The but also the way you want to build. Um, we actually build the the main wall shape and then we went down but you can also build up so that's all but again so just a, a little variation of what we have done uh, a slightly different layout uh, again you put up walls you put up some buttress buttresses and once you've done that you smash it all and you and, put glitter on it and you put glitter on it <laughs> absolutely um, no build without glitter uh, I go uh, check if I can find this fabric hardener. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Go for it. So curious. Probably... Oh, go yeah. ahead. Go ahead, brother. I was just going to say, for me, um, I'm going to have to dip out of this uh, in the next couple of minutes. I've got to go and do bedtime for yes. my daughter. Please, please. Uh, but and you know, before you go, Michael, thank you so so much for for joining us. Even though you're on holiday and you're spending, like, thank you for carving out, uh, you know, time. Uh, I love it, man. I, I, it's, it's huge. And then monitoring, you know, um, everyone, everyone's questions in the chat and engaging everyone. It's just fantastic, brother. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for, for doing that. It means a lot, man. I mean, it was great. Not a problem, man. Anytime. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. I've been enjoying the build all night. I've been just enjoying it. <laughs> it's a good time. It's, you know, and, you know, really appreciate all of you out there in the stream today that, that uh, have joined us and uh, take 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 the time to to come craft with us and pick the brain. Like it's it's just I, I learned so much uh, from from uh, the guests that come on, from both Danny and Michael, from you guys with um, all of all of your conversation and insight. Really, really, um, you know, it, it's just enriching. It's 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 uh, it's it's always something that I look forward to every Sunday now. So thank you so much. And again, if you're new here. And you're watching this uh, recorded version up on YouTube. And you're not with us live. Please type new in the comments. Introduce yourself. Uh, I'm 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 thrilled to meet you, and I'd love to to get to know more about you, so I can hopefully um, you know pronounce your name correctly when when you join the stream. Uh, but Tina and uh, Sondor, uh, I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So hopefully that was you're getting good. better, man. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, um just to say though. Uh, just before I actually dip out here, um, I did send you one more photo there from Tina, okay. which was um, a, a further update on her oh, book nook build. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get that in there. Uh, while, while Gerard is is back, um, Michael's, Michael's going to dip out and put his, put his, uh, his, his, kibble, his kibble to bed, uh, and uh, um, uh, we'll see. We'll see him next week. We'll all see you tomorrow. Uh, when I, when I, when I go live, um, if you're, yep, you I will. mean, if you're around, we'll, we'll, we'll chat more brother, but, uh, if you're around, you should, yep. you should just join me and come, come on and hang out while we do it. Um, okay, but sounds good. thank you so much, Michael. We will, we will see you. We'll see you soon, brother. Um, cool. Good night. Good night, brother. Thanks, Michael. Good evening, guys. Um, and thank you, stay safe. Bye bye. All right. Well, okay, so, you got. You um, have. You got. Did you find? Did you were you able to locate yes. it there, Gerard? What you got? Yes. And uh, also looking at the time, we are 
How, how long are we now on the on the on the way to? Oh, we've got hours? about we've got a little. We're we're the actual crafting is about two two hours and thirty five minutes. So we've got a few more minutes here. We've got a few more minutes. Okay. We'll, we'll we'll wrap cool. it. We'll wrap it up within yeah. probably like ten minutes. Okay. So I uh, I have here the uh, this is the fabric hardener which is called uh, buffer pull. Buffer pull. Buffer pull. That's I'm just sure. fun to say. <laughs> yeah. Look, can you? See? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. It's, uh, let me see. Uh, Water-based decoration and textile hardener used in, used in making household and garden decorations. Oh. Yep. This sculpture glue. Sculpture glue. Harden, harden fabric to statues. This product is easy to use with natural materials, all paper types and other naturally occurring materials. Materials. For information, check out the website www.pafferpol.com. Nice. Yeah? Keep it frost-free and steer before use. I've never yeah. heard of the sculpting glue before. That's 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 great. I'm gonna have to see see uh, what where my equivalent here in the U.S. would be and play around with that. Um, that's that that'd be that'd be awesome. We got. Um, I have uh, something in addition. Yes. What else? What else do you have? Uh, it's from the same company, and it's called Paver Plus. Paver Plus, which is a white powder. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, yes, it's a white powder, yep. and um, you mix it with the powder pulp. So now you get a kind of paste that you can uh, put on your build. So you can fill fill out cracks, openings. Um, you might think even can use it as a kind of uh, plaster for. Um, uh, 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 as if they, you, you work with real plastered walls. So mm -hmm. uh, I use it if I have in my build some kind of strange gap or opening and I want to get rid of it. Uh, I fill it. So I mix this with this up until it's a little kind of toothpaste kind of thing and I smear it. And yeah, so nice. These two. Yeah. Get the body, okay. that's great. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I've got a, we've got an update here on uh, teens teens book nook here. We can show we can Tina. Sh or Tina, God, God, Tina, dang it, Tina, your book nook. We're gonna see it right now, and I'm gonna pronounce your name right next week. That's all I'm gonna do is practice your name. Gosh darn it. Um, all right, let me let, let's let's transition it over here. You guys can check it out real quick. Coming coming up there. Oh yes. It's got some 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 lighting effects added added in there now. We're getting the full the full effect. Oh, this is great. I love I I I I I love having the ability. I kind of I did not plan that. That's a little be behind the scenes uh, info for you guys. I hadn't planned on trying to throw uh, the work up there in the middle of the stream today, but I wanted to. I was like, I had the idea. I was like, let's see if we can do this and. Sure enough, um, that's great, and I'm so thrilled that you guys, you guys were able to jump up there and and uh, share that. We're, we'll we'll keep doing that. Uh, so so have have the cameras ready so you guys can share it. I love that lighting uh, that you that you put up in there. It looks oh, there fantastic. Oh, I got it now. That's, yeah, that's beautiful. it's so cool, right? Such a such a cool, uh, cool cool book nook. And you said she uh, she's making that for for a friend. Lucky lucky. Lucky friend that you're making that for. It's um, it's a it's a great build. Um, well, uh, that that's uh that's gonna bring us bring us to to uh uh wrapping wrapping up today's stream, y'all. Um, this has been another fantastic session, Gerard. Um, uh, we got you. you. We got you. We got you twice. Uh, in 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 uh, before the end of the year i'm looking forward to having you on again in the new year brother it's going to be yeah, going to be great absolutely. to have you come back um what what we what, what we could do is um but maybe the 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 those who, who who've seen the uh 
who, who, who joined us today or will see the video later, they can maybe they, they can say what they would like to see. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we could transfer this into a room if you like. I'd love that. Um, it's a great idea. It's a great idea. If uh, those of you that are out there uh, on the stream or watching the re uh, the recording, you can find me on Instagram, uh, crazy crafter xps um, on Instagram, crazy crafter channel nineteen eighty three at gmail dot com. Send me your ideas. Leave a comment. The easiest way is just leave a comment uh, once the the video is posted and. Let us know what's what would you guys like to see next uh, from Gerard in the new year. Let us know that'd I be fantastic. Uh, yeah, okay. great, awesome, Danny. Thank you so much for for joining us as always today. It was fun. It's it's always a joy to hang out with you and and uh, and get to get to craft with you, my friend. Thanks for having me. This has been a fun one. I, I, I'm having trouble not crafting right now. Like. <laughs> It's, keep, it's, 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 it's easy to can you, do. And, Danny, can you show me? Yeah, oh, sure, yeah. yeah. So, like I said, I couldn't pull down the bigger stuff, so I, yeah. I ended up using thinner material for okay. all of the, the things. And um, on, on this side, I started doing the, the texturing, and I, I just started... Uh, the light's not great. No, I can see. Yeah. But I... Um, I actually added a sill under the the window on 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 this side, just a little extra something yeah. or other Love to yeah. add cool. an extra Very bit cool. of dimensionality. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, it's it's a great build, uh, and I'll keep it around so I can wreck it with you next time. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, great, great, great. All right, everyone, um, be sure to 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 like this video. Um, if you haven't done so, be sure to um, subscribe to the Crazy Crafter. Uh, we go live every Sunday, and now this week, uh, tune in for, for some extra build time. I'll be going live uh, probably around 10, 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time, both uh, tomorrow, that's Monday, and Wednesday. I'll be working on Michael's uh, build that he created for me in cr cross-collaboration between that one videos and the Crazy Crafter. So tune in get to, to ch check out that video. And... Um, uh, we look forward to seeing you, seeing you the rest of this week and Sunday. Yay! Extra crafting time. Woo! <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> till till the next time. Make sure uh, you craft your passion daily. Take care of yourselves out there. Be safe, and uh, we'll see you. We'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye, guys. Woo! Bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you, Gerard. Bye. Thank you, guys. Bye. -bye. We'll see you guys. Cheers. <laughs>